Hello everybody, this is Bobby Mills with Independent.com with another version of In The Hoop. We're in Donovan today at Donovan Trouble High School with Riding High head coach Kellen Burr. How are you, man? Good, Bobby. How are you? Perfect, man. What a great start, huh? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, any surprises about that? You guys are 7 and 0, oh, is that correct? That's right, yeah. Number one in the wild card standings. Yeah, and it is early. A lot's going to change there, but it's fun. It's still fun to look at. Oh, God. well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, did the this surprise you? Is this the best start you've had? Had um, Donovan Trumbull or not? I, I think we've been like 9 and 0 oh, because we played Grand Island Central Catholic. We were both undefeated last oh, year in that right. game. So well, this is kind of a routine thing. Like yes, a couple of years. We, we've been really blessed the last couple of years to, to to do really good to start the year, and and that's kind of the way this year started. I mean, we were, we were sitting five and zero, oh and didn't really know a lot about ourselves, but mm -hmm. we knew we'd find out a lot about ourselves this last weekend, and uh, very very pleased with with that, with how it went. And, I mean, those are two well-coached, good teams in Central City and Minden. So for our kids to perform the way they did, um, I'm, I'm ecstatic for, for where we're at in the season. And we knew we'd be extremely young coming into the year. <laughs> and we, we've already seen, you know, progression from week to week. And it's maybe going a little bit quicker than, than I had anticipated. But um, hopefully we keep seeing, seeing the improvement week to week. And... Uh, we can get where we want to get to at the end of the year. Well, they really competed Saturday, I'll tell you that. I was just like, oh, and they're talking about it all over. So, um, yeah, I was really impressed by that performance. And like you say, you were off to a hot start both games too, right? Yeah. Especially Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, they were uh, – you've got a couple of young guys that are really good, but we'll talk about So, So um, – were you expecting this with all the losses you had? You had some shooters last year. My God. Yeah, we, we graduated a lot of our production. Oh, oh. well, uh, that's what Josh sound behind the camera. He says he lost a lot. Buddy. I said, ooh, wait till you hear this. Yeah, yeah, lost four starters off last ooh. year's state tournament team and um, a couple kids that came off the bench that did a lot of nice things. And um, You know, our youth program, maybe it didn't surprise us as much as other people because we've seen our freshman class, our sophomore class, our – our juniors and seniors have success at a younger age, um, but it's, it's just different. We we didn't know a lot this summer. There was a lot of uh, newness for coaches and players. So, um, did I expect it? Maybe not to be where we're at. Yeah. But um, it certainly doesn't surprise me as much as as it might uh, somebody that's not you know watching our program day in day out. Right. But I'm very excited for the kids. Uh, they've done a great job of. Of meshing together, um, they get they get along great on and off the court. It looks like it. Yeah, um, practice is one of the most enjoyable things we get to go to. We don't have attitude issues, we don't have effort issues, um, so it, it's a great team and program to be a part of. Great. I mean, that's yeah. When you have this mesh thing, even at this young age, we'll talk about some of those young guys. And and I knew Jack Poppy was going to be good. I mean, people have been talking about him for a long time, and you just hope that all that talk and hype doesn't. Hurt a kid like that, but I don't think it has. So anyway, <laughs> not at all. You want no? You want to talk about some of your kids? To Jack Poppy yeah. and and then Jake Collison is a Jack or Jake? Uh, Jake, yep. Jake and you know Caden Dedimore, Ty Bennett, uh, Parker Volpe, Jane Williams, all those guys. Uh, yeah. Talk about these kids, man. Individually, if you if you don't mind spilling some secrets, no, no, not at all. you play, there's no secret. <laughs> yeah, just going down the line. I mean, uh, you know, Jack's getting a lot of publicity. And deservingly so. Um, you know, he was really good on Saturday. He's been very consistent throughout. Um, if you didn't know his name, you probably do now. Yeah. And you know, we, we've seen him come up through our youth program. He's he's just very very special is the word that's getting thrown around, and it's deserved. Um, you know, kind of one one of the funner stories I, I like to tell is I got to the chance to watch Coach uh, Doug Woodard speak from Bellevue West. Oh boy. And and something he said, and I'm just going to steal it from him and, and say it about Jack, but. Coach Woodard said when Chucky Hepburn came to high school that Doug became a lot better coach, and that's kind of Jack. Like, Jack can just do things, and, and he makes the coach look good, so I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> he makes his teammates around him a lot look, look great, too. And um, a nice story that you don't necessarily get to see on and off the court is, you know, Saturday leads us um, in scoring at, at the Holiday Hoops Classic, and then on the way home, he's the kid sitting next to one of our managers joking and having a great time with, with him on the way home. Um, that. You know, sometimes a superstar or, or somebody up high like that wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily expect it, but he's a, he's a great kid off the court. Um, and Jaden Williams moving into him, 
Um, Saturday, they, they kind of locked him down and his shot wasn't falling, but Friday against Central City, he led us with 20. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for a better leader by example. He's he's kind of a quiet kid. He'd be the first one to admit that. But, um, you know, he, he's, he's another kid that's come up through a program. He started every single game of his career since he was a freshman. Um, transitioning into a, a different role on our team and, and he's doing he's doing a great job of it um, you know just again another great kid to coach um, a lot of these kids parents have helped build our program um, you know Jack's dad has coached their team and, and Jaden's mom and dad have been very involved Jeez. you know in, in our program um, and then that we'll go to the third J because during a timeout it's kind of Stressful for me because I got Jaden, Jack, and Jake. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. So a three J. <laughs> but in a Jake Collinson, he's a kid that um, you know he's he, he's just been waiting and working. Um, you know, like like we've talked, we were pretty good a year ago making it to state. Yeah. And it just it, it wasn't his time, and now he's a junior, and he's done a great job putting in his time and effort. Um, and he's getting more comfortable, and that's great to see. Um, and then into Caden, Caden Dedemore was our sixth man for the last two years. Started a couple games. Um, he's transitioning into another role. He's um, a huge part of our, our Ooh, success. Um, that guy at the bench, man. Yeah. Boy, is that important. Oh. Yeah, defensively, he's he's very, very good for us. And, yeah. Um, he's, he's another leader by, by example, um, kind of another quiet kid. Um, but, but again, it feels it has a family aspect. We break down every huddle with family, and, and these kids, you know, are, are as much like brothers when they come to practice and they're in the van or, or anything we're doing. Um, the kid that kind of is getting – I don't want to say forgotten about right now, but uh, Tyson Bennett starts for us, and he's a, he's a sophomore. And you know, last year as a freshman, he just was getting his feet wet, and there was a lot of new things. And I mean, he's really flourished. He had 14 on Saturday. I like the way that kid looked. Man. Yeah, stepped up, went six Whoa. for six from the free throw line to kind of ice it, and uh, just doing a great job. Um, and and again, last year he was on a good team, and. Now he's being able to show what he can do. Yeah, my wife said, where'd he come from? I said, youth program, <laughs> another one of those things there that they've got going. Yeah, yeah. No, we got one foreign kid. We haven't had anybody transfer in yet. That's that's been monumental. But uh, yeah. And these kids don't transfer out either once they get under the iron, you know, <laughs> rule of his. No, I, I, you talk about that Jack Poppy. I mean, he came up in the stands and I shook his hand. He was talking to, you know, some kids out there, just like a little kid, you know, yeah. joking around. And I said, okay, well. There's the kid in him. Yeah. When he gets out of the court, there's no kid. So. Yeah. The the next kid, um, who's also a freshman, is Parker Volk. Um, you know, we haven't had a lot of size here at no. Donovan Trumbull, and he walks in at six three, six four as a freshman, and and you know his, his big thing with, with for me and a practice is we've just been challenging um, his physicality and his toughness, just being a freshman. Well, they're both skinny, both yeah. him and Jack are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but Parker's doing a great job. I mean, he's playing way stronger than he looks he's he's playing tougher than he looks he's he's doing a great job I mean he made a he made a play where he went at the the Bradley kid from Minden who you know you look you set them up against oh, each other yeah you know, probably, you know definitely in the trenches you're taking the Bradley gonna kid, drill right? a, gonna drill a hole in that Vulcan no yeah. no no but yeah no he went right at him and yeah. and has, has, has done a great job uh, coming in and and really taking us up a notch um, so I'm very happy for Parker and and again, another great kid. And then uh, we got Ben Van Dees and Nate Collinson come off the bench, and they're just solid at their jobs. They know their role extremely well. They do. They execute it extremely well. Um, and then there's a couple seniors who don't get a lot of playing time, um, and Mason Lang and, and Camden Byro. And you know that's a that's a situation as a senior. You know you you like to be playing more. But both these guys come to practice. They're very positive. Um, they're definitely a part of the team. They push us every single day in practice. Um, and they're just they're great they're great kids they're great kids and I uh, love having them to be, um, in our program. And you never know how much it, that, that kids like that mean to a team. Right. Right. Boy, practice you know championships are one of practice and if they're contributing, boy, I mean that's big. So, um, what sub district are you in? It I, I isn't going to be a Catholic this year. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it probably won't be. Is it the same teams as last year? It's pretty Can close. Follow? It's it's us and such Catholic in and Amherst, and uh, Nebraska Christian is the new one, there? and Arcadia Loop City. Okay. So and you know could they they can hold the district here? Couldn't they? Sub yeah. District? Yeah. I think How dare they not? I mean, right. You know, I, the, the, I don't think they check. Do they check how big your, how many you can hold? No, I think it changed. Uh, the the one seed has the right to host it. So, yeah. 
that's definitely a goal to work work towards. I mean, you get a chance to oh, win gosh. Your, your sub-district at home. And you're actually in a holiday tournament. <laughs> is that, that, that is different, isn't it? It is, it is. Yeah, we, we've been playing just one game, but this year uh, we get to go out to Hershey and uh, Gothenburg's in there. Yeah, we play Gothenburg the first Do round. And, and Lawrence Nelson. Lawrence Nelson and Hershey. and So we get to spend the night out there. And, Great. Um, sounds like some laser tag, some fun things. But, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we don't pick up a couple feet of snow and have to stay away oh, out there. Oh, well, we don't, we don't want that. Yeah, they went, they had that. Maybe they got that one out of the way. Hopefully. So, I mean, that's going to be, everything's lining up. You, you never know whose injuries play a part. You can't control that. You just do what you do. Uh, and I noticed great crowd yeah. the other day and they're going to go wherever you guys I don't know about Hershey but uh, great crowd and they're so proud of this team and they always have been I mean you yeah. they're, you can't even find a seat here right yeah no our our support system uh, you know from parents grandparents uh, fans uh, Friday you know kind of warmed my heart as a coach uh, I think we had all of our top all of our seniors off of last year's team Really? Um, we're back and watching. I thought running. I saw a couple. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and, and and we're very blessed to have that. Um, you know, we've, we've got a bigger team, so that adds more parents and grandparents. But, Boy. Um, you know, th there's people that are coming up to me that I don't know. Hey, coach, got to see you play. Love love the style of ball you're playing. And, and it's it's really, um, you know, it, it's very humbling um, to see people just that enjoy basketball and they enjoy watching us play basketball. That's great. Well, you'll be a millionaire by the time you get out of this place. You, you may not, but you'll sure have good basketball. Yeah. Coach. coach, thanks for talking to us. I mean, your next game, you, we're filming this on a Monday and you have a game on Tuesday before yep. the, the break. And where is that and who are you playing? Uh, we play at home. We play against Sandy Creek. Um, so. I don't have to tell you to come to that one because no. it'll all be here anyway. So Andy Creek's not a bad team. They played the game before you, yep. yeah. so that ought to, you know that ought to be a good game. Took Carney Catholic right down the wire. Coach Wiseman's always got him, you know, playing good defense and and, and whatnot. Does. So um, yeah, it, it would be a great way to finish the first third of our season. But um, we've got to give them the respect that they deserve, and we've got to show up for sure and, and uh, make sure we take care of business. So. We can go into the holidays with a you know good taste in our mouth, and then go out there to the Hershey, and then get back to it. Um, looks like a very manageable schedule to me. Um, and then you've got the thing over at the dome. Yeah, the new plaid over there <laughs> might run into Central City again and have another barn burner over there. Yeah, yeah, and you know they're going to get better. They're going to get a player back, and yep. um, you know we, we've had battles. We, we've played them twice a year for the last three oh, years. Boy. Always running into the conference tournament. Coach plays does a great job. Uh, become a very good friend of mine off the court. Oh, great, what a great, great guy. guy. Yeah. Wow. So we look we look forward to it. You know, there's gonna, you know, right now we're at a high point in the season, and you know, there's gonna be low points. Kids are gonna get sick. You know, yep. You, you always pray you stay away from injuries, but they they could happen. That's part of the risk you take playing. Well, things out of your control you can't control. You're doing a great job right now. Keep up the good work. Thanks, sir. Hey, Kellen Burr, Donovan Trouble High School, Josh Salmon, a alias Fish behind the camera. We'll see you next time on In the Hoop. Have a good week.